Well, how you doing, guys? We're back for another beer review. Um, very cool. Just showed up on the shelves uh, this past week. Uh, it is Garrison Spruce Beer. Showed up on the NSLC shelves. Um, it was very, very limited the last couple of years it's been out. Uh, seems to be a bit more of it around this year, which is always a good thing. Last The last year when I tried it uh, with my brother in a duo review, actually had to get a bottle from uh, my friend Jason Spears, Spears 104. So... Um, uh, but this year it's actually available, so I picked one, or actually my dad picked this up for me, I guess. Um, and it's spruce beer, as I said, 7.5% alcohol by volume. It's their basically their winter seasonal. Uh, water, barley malt, spruce, and fir tips, molasses, hops, and yeast are the ingredients. And it was bottled on December 6, 2013, so it's very, very fresh. Only a couple weeks ago. Um... If you follow Garrison on their Facebook page, uh, this is actually pretty bigly, pretty hugely hyped beer for them. Uh, they do a really good job of advertising it. Uh, just the weeks coming up to it being released, they were releasing photos of them harvesting the actual spruce tips and stuff like that that they put in this. So, uh, very cool stuff. Uh, Garrison does a real good job on on that sort of thing uh, on the promotional side and also interaction with their customers and stuff as well. Uh, so, yeah, you know, uh, so it says flavored strong ale. Uh, yeah, I'll read the spiel. Why not? Uh, I think it's probably exactly the same as it was last year, but, um, at Halifax, Bruce beer was the big commodity and thought to be very good beverage for the men brewed for the con conveniency of the troops. It is made of the tops and branches of the spruce trees boiled for three hours then strained into casks five Five quarts of molasses will be added, uh, put in every barrel. As soon as cold, it is fit for use. While encamped at Halifax, the soldiers drank great, great quantities of spruce beer, which is true. Uh, it's a historical sort of uh, brew, uh, like a really easy-to-make beer where, you know, although actually there's more spruce trees today than there were back then, um, it was still, you know, it, it's there was, there was a lot more spruce trees around that you could you know, pull stuff from, then you could, you know, growing something, some sort of grain in a field and uh, putting it in your beer. So, um, it says, uh, the allowances was three gallons and a half for each, uh, uh, for each soldier, which they paid, uh, seven pence to, uh, get. The seamen were always fond of drinking spruce beer, and this is, this is a historical ex excerpt, so I don't know what from, but, so. Yeah, so we're going to try it this year. See if it's changed any, because Garrison tends to change up their um, recipes a little teeny bit here and there. I mean, um, they are a craft brewery, so, you know, not necessarily every time you get a batch of something from them, year in and year out, is going to be exactly the same, you know. Uh, there's, there's room for experimentation and trying different things, and Garrison seems big on that, so you have to applaud them for that sort of thing. All right. All right, so last year's one was pretty dark. I think this is about the same color. It seems like a deep mahogany, dark brown kind of thing. Put up to the light, you get some ruby red going through there, but um, it might be just a little tad lighter than it was last year, I think, but um, it's pretty much the same. Looks exactly the same, really. 7.5%, you definitely see the legs on the side of the glass there. So it looks nice. We'll go right to the aroma here. Hmm. I will say it's not, um, the aroma seems a little bit more subdued this year. And I've got this at about room temperature, so it should be at the optimum temperature for aroma and taste to actually come out on this sucker, so... I mean, you definitely you get in the spruce. It's it's big right there, nice sweet, almost minty kind of spruce smell. That that sort of spruce aroma, but you're also getting molasses and a little bit of a candyish sweetness as well. Although it doesn't seem as big this year. It seemed like 
when I when I opened it last year for the last year's review, I remember vividly, like even holding the glass away from me, I could smell it. Uh, it's not quite like that this year. Actually, have to go up and get to put my nose right to it to smell it. it smells very good. It, it reminds me sort of um, of like uh, Bose. Um, to, to a certain extent, Bo's uh, Bog Water and their the Bog Father, which was their you know Bog Myrtle beer, sort of sort of the same idea. This this is sort of like a, in a way, it's sort of like a Gruet, um, in that you know the original recipe there there wouldn't have been hops in it. It, it would have had uh, just you know natural ingredients that you could find around you, as in spruce. The, the spruce in it was for the flavoring for this beer. So. All right, cheers. We'll go right to the taste. Smells very good. Hmm, nice. You know, I think that's I think this is better this year. Right off the bat, I think I can say that. It's got slight candy sweetness up front. Almost um, bubble gumish in a way. Um, it's got a nice medium to um, almost full mouth feel to it. It's very malty. Um, at the very back of the mouth, you get this nice bitterness. It sort of builds up a little. You get that. You get more of that spruce, but it turns from the sort of a sweet minty spruce to more of a, a bitter sort of combination there yeah you know what this is better this year it really is um, I think the problem I had with last year's one was um, maybe it was a little too spruce heavy this one here seems a lot more balanced this year than it was last year um, I'm getting much more malt coming up uh, it's much more in balance with the spruce and the finish. Uh, the bitterness works a lot better um, now that it's uh, a little bit more pronounced. Um, and there's a little less sweetness up front. Uh, yeah, it, it works a lot better, I think. And it also works as a winter warmer because I am feeling a little bit of warmth going down uh, in the chest. Um it's very good. Some people might not enjoy it because maybe they're wanting more spruce flavor. I think there's just the right amount this year. I think they might have perfected the recipe this year, actually. Um, uh, of course, I've only had one year of this. I don't know what the first couple years tasted like. I think they've been doing it for about four years now or something like that. So, um, But yeah, for me, this is perfect. Um, I said last year I could probably only drink maybe two bottles of this. Um, I could probably do three. I could actually probably do this all night. Um, you know, three or four bottles. So that's 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 a uh, higher praise right there. Um, it's much more accessible. Uh, the alcohol is masked everywhere except in the warmth going down the chest. So it's a very drinkable, very accessible beer. The spruce isn't big. It's not going to scare any newbies off, I don't think. Uh, I think Garrison did a really great job this year on this beer. Um, so really good Garrison thank you very much for another excellent beer uh, I'm going to go I'm going to go as high as four and a half uh, this year uh, it's definitely uh, a much uh, I guess it's just the drinkability alone is, is what's making it a much better beer this year it just seems a better bit better of a balance uh, to me so um yeah, awesome. Four out of five. Uh, four, four and a half out of five for Garrison Spruce Beer. Uh, definitely look out for it in the NSLC if you can find it. I'm pretty sure it's probably going to find its way to Ontario again. I know it did last year. Uh, so, you know, if my friends in Ontario, like uh, Guy and the Albino Rhino, can't find it and they want it, let me know. And I'll try to put some away for you. I'm definitely going to put one of these away for uh, my friend Paul, PA Brew News. Uh, send that his way. I think this will be right up his alley. Uh, nice, big, strong, earthy spruce beer uh, for uh, 
uh, backwoodsman like himself. I think he'll enjoy it quite a bit. So, okay, guys, I've been rambling on too long. We're at 10 minutes here. See you later. Bye-bye.